definitely. Are you would you call yourself like a winner? I would say, oh, that's a good question. Um, I'd like to say yes. Does my teams always win? Probably not. Nah, but, but me personally, yourself, yeah. I say yeah. Like, I I would say yes in terms of if I if I set a goal, I will do whatever I can to achieve it, and most of the time I do. So, so. you say like, where does that come from? I'm always interested because we're very similar mm-hmm. in that. You know, winning for us is absolutely everything. Yeah. we've always been like that. It's like the fun. In, yeah, you know how people say like play for fun. No, nah, you. For me, it's win. like if I'm not playing to win, it's not fun. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, I don't understand yeah. that. And I'm honest. trying to still work out whether it's something that you're just born with, or or something happens in your life early on that, that triggers it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, so for you, what, what would you say? It was? That's a good question. I think growing up with, um, I have three brothers, mm-hmm. so growing up with them, you know, you're always like competing. Yeah, of course. So yeah. from young, you're always competing, and um. My second oldest brother played basketball as well, like I said before. So it's like we're always going head to head playing. So I think from a young age, you kind of just learn. You know, you always want to beat your brother, of course, and like yeah. you want to beat your your siblings and stuff like that, your cousins. So I think you, yeah, I think you it's just developed it. Yeah, developed from a young I mean, age. I think if you get that coach that drives that mm-hmm. into you, because a team it becomes instilled into you. Like I know with us, yeah, with David and stuff going up with that, I think it just enhanced it. Yeah, sometimes I think all it takes is, like you said, a coach yeah. or. A mentor or something to really bring it out of you but i do think like yeah you say it's you sort of developed it i mm. sort of think you you have it in yeah. you man. yeah like you're, you're born with it yeah i agree a lot of people can't understand the way that we think no nah, i think that's why you're I mean? wired too yeah. like you want to you know whatever you do like i know with us it doesn't matter if i'm, I'm like go-karting with mm. the boys like i want to win oh yeah, 100%. you know what i mean it's, it's like, like i think it's what you you set yourself an expectation within yourself and it's mm. like you, you want to demand that all the time whatever you do mm. so so it's like second nature look I find this stuff really interesting right? Yeah. so when you win yeah right when you're in a competition whatever it is you're, you're playing a game mm. when you win what is that feeling to you oh, it's like happiness you know they feel like proud of proud of yourself almost like like yourself like no matter what I do I always want to win you know are you hard on yourself you find you're oh, really yeah. hard yeah, yeah. So this is like, like it depends with certain things yeah. like when it comes to like the basketball stuff, like yeah. even the like gym as well, I'll be hard on mm. myself. But for stuff like go kart, if I don't win, like you'll be a little upset, you know. Oh, I mean? of but course, you're not be yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, super mad. But no, nah, it's interesting you say that. Yeah. See, I think for me, it's like when I win, it's almost like relief. Mm-hmm. Oh. Like I find it sometimes pressure, really yeah. hard yeah. to yeah. actually enjoy winning mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. I think I hate losing yeah. more than I do in, like yeah. enjoy. I winning. think it's a balance oh, too. Yeah. Because yeah. oh, it's interesting you say that because it's almost like. Not that you're too scared to do something because you don't want to fail. It's mm. like you've got to have that, be able to sort of take the loss. Where sometimes I feel like you're so obsessed in winning, mm. it's like you don't want to lose so bad that you then don't end up winning because you're like just in this. That's yeah. what, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like you're in this middle all ground this on, yourself. on yourself and you're just mm. like, I, I think know, as you get like, older. When I am losing. All right, we're back for another episode of the Almost Made It podcast. Something a bit different today. Uh, we're changing sport codes today. So. Mm-hmm. No, uh, no football player, but we've got a basketballer today. Um, also, before we get started, a bit of housekeeping. Make sure you're following. We have a lot of people listening, but not as many following. So make, sh- make sure you hit that follow button on Spotify and subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Instagram or anything else. Anything else I forgot? No, that's it. Or YouTube. Did you say YouTube? Now? I did just yes, say you YouTube. Did. Yeah. Um, sure. yeah. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. We have with us today a very special guest. Nick Caracas. How we doing? Um, a basketballer, college ex ex college basketball player, um, played at Sierra College. That's the one in uh, LA, California. California. Sacramento. <laughs> oh, one job, one job. Sacramento, Sacramento. <laughs> All right, I remember. Um, and yeah, man, we just get into a, a chat, have a laugh. Sounds That's good. Baby. Sounds good. All right, ready to go? Yes, sir. You want to take it away, right. Matthew? Very Brown. simple question, but. Mm-hmm. Why basketball? Why basketball? So, what did you get into it? Well, first I started playing football yeah, when I was younger. AFL? AFL yeah, yeah, but I was terrible. Yeah, I was not good at all. And I only switched to basketball because my brother played basketball. So that's the only reason. That's it? Yeah, that's So it's it like not your dad. You just sort of enjoyed um, it and then... Yeah, so my dad used to play when he was um, younger. Yeah. But um, obviously I wasn't around to see yeah, that. No, no. But um, yeah, my brother used to play. I used to go watch him every now and then. So and then sort of grown just, yeah, yeah, we used to play in the backyard together and... Just decided to play. Nice. Uh, turns out I was better at that than football. But as you lot started playing, so like, you obviously played for fun as a young, youngster. Mm-hmm. Were you, uh, did you have the objective of wanting to be a pro? Uh, or, no, not at all. Really? Just no, happened sort of thing? Yeah, that came way later until yeah. I was about, I want to say 17, maybe 18. Yeah. 
um was there something that like lit that fire yeah so i was um i was lucky enough to go on a american tour oh, no. when i was i think i was 18 at the time mm-hmm. and then just seeing how they uh how they uh, played basketball over there how it was all working like the basketball system college and all that kind of stuff kind of like we said lit a fire and yeah. i was like oh i'd love to do this one day did you did that tournament i guess bring to light for you that you were good enough or was it like <laughs> just the experience in itself what was it was there something oh it showed me that i had like a lot more to improve like yeah okay. there was so much further ahead than True. we are but we're getting better as australia but for myself it made me realize i had to get a lot better to be able to play over there so then did that lead to you going to <clears throat> college how, um, how did that all fall into place? so yeah so then um i was lucky enough i went to a basketball academy after high school in, in melbourne in melbourne yeah. yeah called vu basketball academy it's no longer around but um so we used to train two hours together every day and then we're studying as well um so i had good coaches around me that helped me get better mm-hmm. and then i went on another tour i got asked to go on a tour and then i just made my own highlight tape yeah. and i used to stay up all night and just send it to every college so this is so different from football yeah it's very different like, yeah it's crazy. It's interesting. That's why mm. to hear this. Type but of every thing. Yeah. every basketballer that I've ever that's actually played at a decent level, like yourself, they, they all have a highlight yeah. video. Like we've never. Yeah. So is that one a sort to. of like that's like your resume? Yeah, pretty in much. Basketball, yeah. basically. Yeah. yeah. So you can um when you go pro, it's a bit different. So with like uh, trying to go to college and stuff, you just pretty much have like a highlight, probably yeah. like two two three minutes mm-hmm. of just your highlights and um. Yeah, that's pretty much so what gets you there. You say you just said like you sent them out to a bunch mm. of what colleges? Or? Yeah, so just uh, so there's different types of colleges, so junior colleges and normal colleges, and yeah. I just sent it to the, like every like junior college possible. So you sent them all out. How many do you like? How many responses do you get back? Uh, you probably don't get a lot to be honest. Like I probably feel like my first week, I probably didn't hear anything back. But overall, I was lucky enough to have twelve offers. Oh, Shit, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. good yeah, man. yeah. Let's see. And then is it up to you to choose? Um, yeah, so ultimately it's up to me. You try to figure out the best fit for yourself. Some mm-hmm. giving scholarships, some not giving scholarships. Okay. So is that well, so? When you say offer, mm-hmm. what is that? Yeah, what is an offer? Like, what do they give you? What What's included? Is it so, accommodation, whatever? Yeah, so um, it depends on the school. Okay. So if they give you like a full scholarship, full uh, full scholarship, which is called a full ride, that pretty much means everything's paid for. So you, that's like housing uh food as well right. and everything others but other ones so junior colleges don't really give like full scholarships mm-hmm. so they'll give either half scholarship or nothing which means you have to pay for like if you get nothing you have to pay for everything from the schooling to food to housing if you get a half scholarship they might take away like school fees and they might help you with accommodation but that's about it yeah. mm-hmm. you know also saying that with the full scholarship mm-hmm. do you have to pay in a certain like grade yeah so my one, we had to obtain a 2.5 GPA, they call is it. Is that like, what, like an average? Oh. Is it really high? <laughs> well, I honestly got no idea. No, no, <laughs> no, no, as in, no, like, no. in, in like oh. normal terms, let's say. Is that oh. like just No, passing? very basic. Yeah, yeah, I think it's like you have to maintain a C yeah. plus, okay. I believe. Oh, so yeah. just pass, so make still, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah pretty much. Okay. So yeah. what was college like, man? Was it like the movies? Was, what, what, yeah, it was like just musical right now. A little bit. Depends which one you go to in the cafeteria. Just... Break, break out to song yeah. sometimes, you know. <laughs> nah. nah, um, honestly, it was a great experience. Like, I think it was a, it was a really good life experience for, for myself. Um, really changes your perspective on a lot of things. You know what I mean? Not just from basketball, but from like life's yeah, like standpoint, Your culture, as well. everything, exactly way of right. things. Yeah, and like you know, when you go out there, you're by yourself. You don't have any yeah. family or like friends or anything like that. So you have to be real, like independent. Mm-hmm. So um, on that side, it was pretty cool. You know what I mean? But like the basketball side of everything, um, it was it was crazy. Like like I said before, like you get to see how like for them it's like do or die. You know what I mean? Yeah, like of it's like for them to make it out and like be able to get rich and stuff like that. But like it's different for us. We kind of play for more fun and yeah, like you literally know what I mean? very similar to yeah. football. Yeah, yeah. exactly very, very right. Similar. So yeah. you kind of see how hungry they are and kind of like motivates you. Go, you have to be the same, otherwise you get left mm-hmm. behind. You know That's what I mean? Interesting. So, so what's a uh, what's a normal day at college look like? Uh, so well, typical it's going day. back you now but yeah. I think we had I think we had 6am lifts so yeah, in the gym. So, yeah in the gym by 6am sometimes a bit earlier like 5.30 6 we probably lift for like an hour mm-hmm. then some of us had class so like 
I would have, I remember I had, let's say, gym at 6 to 7, and then I'd go straight to class, 7.30 to about, like, 7, 7.30 to, like, 8.30 probably, and then would have, like, a bit of a break, and then you have practice again. So practices go from two hours, depending how mad our coach got. Sometimes we go three hours. The angry he gets, <laughs> yeah, the longer we go, you know. <laughs> so then we have, like, another, we'd have a practice, and then some of us would have class afterwards, and then the gym would be open at night. And you can go work out if you want to. Yeah. See. Were you one of those guys always in the gym or were you? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah? yeah, yeah. You definitely had that drive. Oh, 100%. Yeah, I still do to this day, you know. Yeah. I think it's just something like you have in you, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Were you, would you call yourself like a winner? I would say, oh, that's a good question. Um, I'd like to say yes. Does my teams always win? Probably not. No. Nah, but but person, me personally, yourself, yeah. I say yeah, like... I, I would say yes in terms of if I, if I set a goal, I will do whatever I can to achieve it, and most of the time I do. So, so you say, like, where does that come from? I'm always interested because we're very similar mm-hmm. in that, you know, winning for us is absolutely everything. Yeah. We've always been like that. It's like the fun. In, yeah. you, know, you know how people say, like, play for fun? No, nah, you got For me, it's win. like, if I'm not playing for win, it's not fun. Yeah, 100%. I, yeah, I, yeah, I don't understand yeah. that. And I'm else. trying to still work out whether it's something that you're just born with or, or something happens in your life early on I think that, it's a bit that of triggers both. it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, so for you, what, what would you say it was? That's a good question. I think growing up with, um, I have three brothers. Mm-hmm. So growing up with them, you know, you're always like competing. Yeah, of course. So yeah. from young, you're always competing. And, um, my second oldest brother played basketball as well, like I said before. So it's like we're always going head to head playing. So I think from a young age, you kind of just learn. You know, you always want to beat your brother. Of course. And like yeah. you want to beat your your siblings and stuff like that, your cousins. So I think you, yeah, I think you it's just developed it. Yeah, developed from a young age. And I think age. if you get that coach that drives that mm-hmm. into you, because a team, it becomes instilled into you. Like I know with us, yeah, with David and stuff going up with that, I think it just enhanced it. Yeah, sometimes I think all it takes is, like you said, a coach yeah. or. A mentor or something to really bring it out of you but i do think like yeah you say it's you sort of developed it i mm. sort of think you you have it in yeah. you man. Yeah. like you're, you're born with it yeah I agree. a lot of people can't understand the way that we think no nah, i think that's why you're I mean? wired too yeah. like you want to you know whatever you do like i know with us it doesn't matter if i'm, I'm like go-karting with mm. the boys like i want to win oh yeah, you know what i mean it's, it's like, like i think it's what you, you you set yourself an expectation within yourself and it's mm. all you, you want to demand that all the time whatever you do mm. so so it's a like second nature look I find this stuff really interesting right yeah. so when you win yeah right when you're in a competition whatever it is you've, you're playing a game mm. when you win what is that feeling to you oh, it's like happiness you know they feel like proud of proud of yourself almost like like yourself like no matter what I do I always want to win you know are you hard on yourself you find you're oh, really yeah. hard yeah, yeah. So this is like, like it cool. depends with certain things yeah. like when it comes to like the basketball stuff, like yeah. even the like gym as well, I'll be hard on mm. myself. But for stuff like go kart, if I don't win, like you'll be a little upset, you know. Oh, what I mean? of course, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, super mad. But no, it's interesting you say that. Yeah. See, I think for me, it's like when I win, it's almost like relief. Mm-hmm. Like I find it sometimes pressure, really I mean, hard yeah. to actually enjoy winning because mm-hmm. I think I hate losing yeah. more than I do in, like yeah. enjoy. I winning. think it's a balance too. Yeah. Because yeah. oh, it's interesting you say that because it's almost like. Not that you're too scared to do something because you don't want to fail. It's mm. like you've got to have that, be able to sort of take the loss. Where sometimes I feel like you're so obsessed in winning, mm. it's like you don't want to lose so bad that you then don't end up winning because you're like just in this. That's yeah. what, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like you're in this middle this ground on yourself. yourself and you're just like, I, I think as you get like, older. When I am losing in whatever it is, mm. I. I almost feel like I can't breathe. Yeah. Yeah. Do it's you know like I mean? an anxiety. Yeah. Of like, yeah. And like you do anything, like I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to cheat to win. Yeah, yeah of like, course. Do you know what I mean? I've what always been can. like that. Yeah. And people give me shit for diving or whatever, but no, nah, I just think yeah, yeah. fuck it. Hundred percent, man. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Every second, you guys get injured. Yeah, I know. We're pretty bad like that. So yeah, typical day at college, and then Do you play how, matches. Sorry. Yeah. How, on the well, weekend. Yeah. So oh. Yeah, so Tuesdays and Thursdays we played. We never played on the weekend, which was oh, different. Because compared to here, we train all week. Mm-hmm. Some clubs train two or three times a week. And we'll play um, either Saturday or Sunday, sometimes both. Okay. But over there, yeah, we train every day. Mm-hmm. And then um, on game days, we'll just go th- like walk through our plays and um, get shots up. And then, yeah, we'll have a game at the end. So and, um, then how, sorry for all these really no, stupid questions, but I'll, we don't, yeah, I'll, we're, I'll, we're I don't know. Yeah, we're not noobs here. Yeah. <laughs> so, so how does... Help? How do the comps work in college? Um, so you have like different conferences. So right. like the NBA. Yeah, yeah. So okay. the East, the West. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So like that. Yeah. So um, my one was called, I believe, we were called the Big Eight, 
Um, mm-hmm. So you you'll play your everyone in your conference, and then like the winner the winner of that goes on to the next stage mm-hmm. versus the other. So all the winners of every conference yeah. versus each other. Okay. And then that's how they get the winner. And is it um based in where you're from? Like sorry, all the yeah. teams in California. Yeah, yeah. So there. it'll be all the so we had North Cal and South Cal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then like the. You pretty much battle whoever yeah, wins yeah, the top, yeah. then you, you pretty much battle job. for the win yeah, for okay. the state championship. Did you win anything? Um, no, we went into playoffs the second round and we got absolutely uh, we got we got killed. <laughs> the competition would be. Um, it was crazy because we went to a little town and like when you go to a little town, the whole town comes, comes out. Comes out, yeah. And um, they're not nice, man. I'll oh. tell you that. Like <laughs> they called me some names, like yeah. Shit. Yeah. There's so not crazy. much space between the, the, the pitch or the court and yeah. the, the fence. Oh, no, there really was. Like, they would even go on the baseline. Yeah. So even the, there's not a lot of room between the baseline and the court either, anyway. And they would be there just like yelling at yeah. you, like some guy who like moon dust and stuff like that. They, <laughs> no I'm telling you, they went to full extent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever they did, it worked though because they yeah, won. Well, that's funny. That was, yeah. <laughs> so crazy. I suppose my next question, my next question is, what's, what's the goal out of playing college? I mean, apart from getting an education, which is the other side of things. But you play these, like you play your comp, right? Mm-hmm. Is it that someone sees you play, you go somewhere else? Like how, what's the, the I guess pathway. the pathway? Yeah, yeah. Pathway. Um, I mean, there's, with now, like there's so many, like I feel like a lot of people that play college want to go into the next level and play professional. And it's like usually the main pathway would be like you play college, usually it's four years and then um, you get an agent and the agent would help you out and find you mm-hmm. like somewhere to play um, either overseas or if you're good enough the NBA I guess yeah. mm-hmm. do you have to go through the drafts or if you get an agent through college or how's it work so no. if for like the NBA so, so yeah if you're in college okay, do yeah. you go from like then getting an agent mm-hmm. to then them putting you in a draft or you can yeah, go so, skip the draft so it's kind of crazy because like um, there's so many different leagues especially yeah. in like Europe there'll be like for instance in Spain I believe there's six different professional leagues okay so like um there's not really a, like a combine for e- each league. Mm-hmm. So the A, pretty much, if you're not going to the NBA, we all know the NBA has like its own combine yeah, draft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Besides that, there's not really, there's not really like um, draft combines it's more like, like that. football, like an agent takes yeah, there, the agent yeah, gets yeah, signed yeah. the yeah, 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 yeah. There's like trials, yeah, 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 yeah. like trials, yeah. stuff that happens like that. Um, occasionally, like um, I was lucky enough, I got asked to go to um, a combine in Spain. Oh, nice. Um, so I had a team that was going to sign me and they said for me to go there first so they could see everything like see if I'm fit enough like good enough mm-hmm. so there's little stuff that like that that can um, happen can but make, yeah. it's very rare it's not a lot mm-hmm. did so, you have an agent? Uh, yeah I did have an yeah. agent yeah so what's the what's the combine then like what do you what do they put you through? Um, so it's a lot of like uh, skill work I like to see skill a lot of running too I found Fitness. in Europe they feel like if you're coming to the combine you're already skilled enough they just want to see if you're fit and enough you battle f- yeah, physicality and, and all that exactly stuff, yeah. and also coming down to what we were talking about for like winning and stuff they want yeah. to see how competitive you are and like other stuff like that, that yeah. yeah physicality that's a good one because yeah. I've heard like I'm not a big basketball fan but I, I don't mind it and they a lot of people say the Euro League yeah it's like very physical mm-hmm. compared to like the NBA yeah yeah even here like playing the so, playing our leagues yeah. here then you go over yeah. there and play it's completely different yeah. like they're so they're a lot more physical. Yeah. The refs don't really call much, yeah. and yeah, it's like men playing with men. Yeah, in saying that, sorry, no, no, I just no. wanted to ask you. So now having had the experience, you know, a bit of Europe, a bit of America here, what would you say is the biggest difference in terms mm. of you know the levels and what for here to sort of get to the American level? What what needs what to be done? Mean, yeah. Um, like I know it's a broad as, question, as but broad in question, your opinion, yeah. like something, what are some funda- yeah. fundamentals that really are the big difference? You think that makes the big difference uh, at the top level? I feel like we um we have to take our basketball more serious at a younger at age. at a younger age. You know, like I feel like in like America, even Spain, like yeah. when I was there, I saw like the kids they were doing proper drills at a young yeah. age, like Definitely. drilling them in, like all mm-hmm. the fundamentals. I feel like we kind of skip over that a little bit, um, but like yeah, just like training from a young age and getting the right coaches because a lot of these coaches were just be like dads yeah, that yeah, are helping yeah, out 100%. which is like you're not always going to have like a great coach out of you of course for like all the young kids but I think if um we could develop that develop the coaching to be able to, be able to help the kids at a young age I feel like that's, that would be like a great step so for interesting us. man because yeah, now that you say that it's literally like what's wrong with football mm-hmm. like yeah. it's very similar yeah. it's, it's crazy the like, sort of stuff. So it's the fundamentals man enough, you know what yeah. I mean like in even that, what you're saying, is like at that young age to 
for them to be able to compete mm-hmm. and learn like winning yeah. and losing and and like you got to that's life man like 100%. your life's not always going to go your way when you lose you got to be on back you got to deal exactly. with the setbacks as a team with other people and you work no matter what and i think that's what sport teaches young kids it's the best way to teach a kid exactly and that's why i don't like this no let them play don't man they need to learn to lose and if they're losing what am i doing that is not right to mm-hmm. improve to then get better exactly yeah. you know, that that's and that's what you're saying i think is massive and um, you yeah. see that everywhere like i was listening to a story the other day i can't remember which podcast it was and it was about south america mm-hmm. and they asked him a question about what are the kids the differences between a kid here an eight-year-old and in south america he goes you know in uruguay eight-year-olds they cry when they lose they're playing their passion eight-year-olds here they don't even know which cone to go to exactly and look that's no disrespect mm-hmm. but it just shows you they're already starting down here yeah, the so they've already. they've already got 15 steps just to get on the same but level. even but even you know like i well, you know, look, I haven't been coaching or any, involved unreal. in any sort of coaching, but they don't even keep scores anymore. That's what I mean, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what is crazy, that? Yeah. Look, remember, we losers had to run or mm-hmm. pack up. There was an Do incentive, push-ups, like, you know, yeah, exactly. to not lose. There's always yeah. a punishment if you lost. Yeah. And, yeah, it's so interesting, but like, different sport, but the same it's problem. the same problem. It's, it must, um, it's like it's a cultural thing, you know, I, know. I think. I think, I think we've so. got to break out of it for when yeah. see our, like, either... Yeah, the Socceroos like 100%. go to the next level. Whether for the Boomers go to the next level. That's what I mean because exactly. it's international sports here. Yeah. Exactly. Basketball for me, in terms of football, probably basketball is the second sport that can compete financially globally. Like there's mm. a lot of countries that play. Mm. You know, all different countries. Exactly. And it's such a big sport, man. Like yeah. you'd think that have more development. Here. And there's a lot of Australian players that have played in NBA. Exactly. And there's you more know, and more. Yeah. so it's, it is a. It seems like a common theme, you know, between a lot of these sports. Yeah. From the top. I always I wanted to ask. I, f- I find that whenever I speak to anyone, regardless of sport, that have actually tried and almost made it, hence the name of the podcast, um, there's always a good moment, I believe, mm-hmm. just a good humbling, right? Yeah. Where there's something that happens in your career that you think, holy shit, what am I doing here? Yeah. Did you have one of those moments? I've had a couple, to be honest. Yeah. So like, uh, that's funny. Before I went to America, so um, at MSAC, we always used to have like a lot of scrimmages and runs. Mm-hmm. So people would come and um, I remember one one day before, <clears throat> I think it was a couple of days before I left, I was playing there. I mean, I was absolutely like dominating everybody. And I was like, yeah, I'm ready. Like I'm ready to go over there, score 20 points, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. be the guy. And I remember getting there and um, the first practice, I got there and like I didn't make a single shot, didn't score nothing. <laughs> I remember seeing like six six guys, like seven footers dunking, like playing like real good basketball, like good defense, everything like that. And I remember just saying there, I was just like, okay, no, this is me, different. Me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, right, I mean, I gotta switch it on, you know what I mean? Yeah, I yeah. gotta go to a different level because these guys are like miles ahead. Yeah, it's funny because I I reckon in those sort of moments you can go two ways, and we've we've heard stories as well like. Can all, intimidate you exactly all it takes is one session yeah. oh, and yeah. you think nah I'm done yeah. like, this is it but I feel like us included you turn that into a positive mm-hmm. and you just you just realise yeah. that you're in it you're in it now like you need to step up or you die pretty but much but it makes you better because yeah. you know yeah. each session you've got to bring it exactly. you know what I mean like instead of here you could probably cruise like mm-hmm. you know you're saying you're smashing 20 points same yeah. as here you're scoring a hat trick whatever but then it's it's not really like rel- relative to, yeah. to where the level is overseas. Exactly. So then when you get there, it makes you every session get better. Yeah, I exactly. think that's, like you said, you can go two ways and be like, oh, man, I don't know if I'm good enough. Mm-hmm. Or you can be like, man, I want to test myself, see how good I can be. Yeah, I think you know it's like I mean? a, a moment where it's like a character building moment. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? And to find out whether like you really have it, if you really want it, yeah. or yeah. whether you're just like cool to just like sit back and be like, oh, let yeah. these guys Yeah, really exactly know. right, man. Mm. Really test about like who you are. Exactly. Talking about tough moments. Yeah. Obviously, moving overseas is a uh, is not easy by any means. I mean, it's easier because you could speak English. Mm-hmm. But um, was there sort of a culture shock? Was there something that you really struggled with moving to the states, or was it all pretty um, easy? I was lucky. I was lucky enough because I kind of like already got to suss the country out, being the tour. Gone over, yeah, yeah, going twice. But um, I, I think it's just the people. They're just a bit different yeah, to us, yeah. you know. They're very uh, out there. They don't really like care, like. They would just say like whatever they want. Mm-hmm. And there's no real filters. A lot of people don't really have filters. Mm-hmm. And also like uh, the food was a bit of like 
Here it's e- kind of easier to eat like Clean. healthy, Clean. Yeah, yeah. but over there it's uh, yeah, no, like, not it's not really it's hard. It's like real hard to actually eat healthy. Are the portions like people say they are? No, like, it's actually well, a lot like bigger. Yeah. If you go to a restaurant, it's a big Shit. plate. Really, like compared to here, it's so much bigger. God and like man. the free refills, like you can just drink crazy, like huh? soft drink, like water liters. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, it gets here. Like Did I'm you not f- a big soft drink drinker. Yeah. Like it even got me. I was like, oh, dang. Yeah, yeah. Did you find off the court was harder? As in terms of like with. The- I don't know, did you have spare time where at the start you didn't have mates, let's say, and, and time would sort of go slow? Parties, did you have yeah. those type of moments where you're like, man, what am I doing? Like, or did you find mates pretty quick? Um, I think like the first couple first couple of weeks was like a bit like yeah, that. Yeah, just know, time like, goes slow. Yeah. yeah. So I got there early before like um, the school see, the school like started. Yeah, so yeah. I think I was there about like four or five days early and I was, so yeah, I was just like, oh, make as many. I'm like, I don't know what to do right yeah, now. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But we are cool because we had like a... A little function room yeah. like in my dorm so like you could just go down there and like people people were kind of friendly yeah and once they once they hear the accent they get intrigued yeah, real quick. yeah sure. you know, plus like, you're oh, all like, nice if you like the same sport it brings you together yeah you know? exactly it automatically right. makes you friends sort of thing yeah exactly yeah um i wanted to ask as well like i think we had a bit of a misconception of footballers in europe mm-hmm. right so we're here especially me yeah you were all i man. was like obsessed yeah like i wouldn't eat anything that i thought would affect my my performance i would never drink i would you know everything was so dialed in every single day because i knew what i was getting myself into Mm. right if i wanted to perform in europe and make it this is what i needed to do but then you go there yeah and you see footballers being footballers Mm -hmm. and partying and drinking and everything else right Mm -hmm. and then pretty quickly we became part of that as well yeah did you have that sort of yeah. <laughs> experience or yeah so like yourself before going there um i didn't drink i didn't didn't smoke like ate ate the same thing for pretty much every day Literally. Like, yeah. yeah i was like really obsessed just trained six hours a day like yeah. was really like into it like you and then when i got there like yourself i the all doing like half my teammates like used to smoke weed yeah, like, yeah, yeah. smoke before the games even like <laughs> i was <laughs> crazy like on the weekends like just uh, at a party every weekend you know what i mean so <laughs> it's like yeah, cr- yeah. it's kind of crazy because you think that would be kind of like us like oh no you've got to yeah. be like this eat like you're this. ruining your career yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. really it's like your best player i bet you he's out like every weekend yeah. getting hammered literally yeah, man. it's such a crazy you know what it's like but it's one of those things it's like it put into perspective like if you work like every all week you work you work, you work but then like, you're allowed to like let's say reward yourself mm-hmm. and have a good time whereas it's like us rewarding ourselves having a good time no you can't do that you know it's that mentality it's like yeah. but you know in a way it's like man you put yourself through all that exactly doesn't mean go and get hammered every night yeah but that one night you can go and have fun and then like the next day you, you're back at it you know what yeah. i mean and i think it's a good healthy yeah. habit and i mentality. remember we had a really heavy month in yeah. italy just we were playing like every three days, yeah. just training after training. We didn't have a day off for ages. And then I remember we had a, a Sunday off and we had like a really light session on Saturday because we just had all these games. And literally our coach said, just go, go out. out. I don't care what you do. Just go out and just, just run make sure you're home tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Never thought you'd yeah. hear a coach say that. It's crazy as well, yeah. And then like you hear stories of like these pros, you know, playing in like City R and all that. And it's just like, Man, we saw... It's a normal thing. Like, we're talking captains of teams just having a dart on the yeah. street or like, having a coffee or like, just normal. Yeah. But then when it comes to the game on Sunday, man, yeah. they'll put their body on the line, yeah. they'll defend, they'll do what they got to do. For me, if you switch on, and I like, couldn't care and you do the job, I couldn't care less what you do. Mm-hmm. It's you almost... I think right. it goes back to here too. It's another cultural thing. Mm-hmm. The yeah. way we're like drilled. Yeah. And it's like... I don't know about basketball, but we're talking about it before about football. Like, for example, there's this conce- misconception here. It's like, if you're not running... You're not working hard, or if you're not doing this, but it's like, man, you got to be running too, but like for a purpose. Why would I just run in a circle? That doesn't mean I'm working hard. Exactly. It means you just got no idea what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? I feel like is it the same sort of? Thing? Is that the same no, sort of agree. mentality goes, in basketball? I think that goes back to like uh, what we were talking about before, like yeah. when we were younger. You know, they like how many times have you heard the coach be like, "Oh, work hard, work yeah, hard," yeah, yeah. but they don't tell you how, like, to, how to work hard. Yeah, like exactly. what is what working hard? Hundred yeah, exactly. percent. It doesn't just mean running. Exactly. Yeah. Like I can sprint. To, I can spread up and down the court but 110% like, well, it's like what is that actually for yeah, you know so I mean? true there's a purpose to what exactly. you do and I'm sure that in college and NBA wherever it's like there's a play mm-hmm. there's a tactic oh, that guy goes there that guy goes there exactly. it's yeah. like in football you know the right back's tucking in because that guy's this and that 
here, it's like just just work hard, run, run, yeah. run, 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 run where? But like, why am I running there? Exactly. You know what I mean? The coach yeah. couldn't even tell you why you're running mm. there. And that's where I think it all breaks down. And mm. you lose faith in coaches like that because mm. they're telling you to do something, but they don't know why you're doing that. And yeah. it's like, then how can I listen to this person? Yeah. I don't know about you, but growing up, I like looking back on it now, I actually had a lot of bad coaches that didn't yeah. even know. And they really didn't know anything about the sport. It's crazy. Which is crazy because like you're playing under what, like 16s now where you get into that... Pivotal time. Yeah, you get yeah. into that, level, <laughs> that stage where you're like, do I want to take it serious or yeah. you know what I mean? Mm. And if you have a coach that doesn't really know much, it's like... 100%, man. Oh, well, you're kind of like, you're hurting yourself, you know? Yeah. It's like, it's not really fair on those kids. Yeah. I want to ask as well, like, I know how tough it is to make it in football and the percentage of actual footballers that make it pro yeah. and, and make a living off it and the competition and everything else. Is it the same in basketball? Is it, did you ever play with anyone who did make it or? Um, so, yeah, I have someone on my team right now. He's our import. So he's been, he's probably been playing pro for, I reckon this is his 12th year now. So he's been lucky enough to go all around the world. Um, but like I would say it's kind of the same as football. Like yeah. it's kind of hard. Very you know? competitive. Very, yeah, very competitive. Like so many people playing the sport. Like in the NBA, it's a 1% of the world, you know? Yeah, exactly. Um, like like I said before, there's heaps of leagues around the around the uh, like a world, but there's still like how many people a playing? A players. Yeah, so there's only 12. <laughs> there's probably like only 12 spots in yeah. each team, if that. But exactly. so you don't have to play NBA to make a living no. playing off basketball. No, playing no. basketball. Euro League, they make good money. Yeah, they? yeah. So the Euro League, yeah. they make great money. China makes yeah. exceptional yeah. money. Yeah. Yeah. So like, um, even some low, like it depends, like the country, like some team, some uh, teams, like low level teams, just have a lot of money. Yeah. They have good sponsors, so they can, owners and yeah, stuff, yeah, so they can actually provide you with like, um, you know, great um like salaries and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is it salary caps in um in basketball? Um, yeah, so in the NBA there is, and and our one here, I actually don't think there is. Do they make money, good money here, or um, yeah, like, to make, enough to live, yeah, you know, make to make a comfortable live living? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, nice, interesting. Well, have you ever, I guess, um, considered playing? What's the what's the league here called? I'm so yeah, lost. Yeah, NBL, NBL, NBL. NBL. Yeah, NBL. <laughs> I should have done my research. Yeah. NFL. Uh, <laughs> have you ever have you ever had a chance to like trial or or anything like that to get into the NBL? Um, NBL? I, don't, I don't think I've ever had like I haven't had like an opportunity to like really try out there. Would you consider it? Um, if the opportunity came, of course. Yeah. All right. So any I'm NBL said, uh, yeah. agents? Melbourne Tigers. They still going around? The which one? Melbourne Tigers. Oh no, the Melbourne United now. No. Oh. Uh, I knew that because Andrew Gay. Andrew Gay. <laughs> <laughs> The but, Aussie um, legend. Actually, speaking of uh, players, who's your idol, favorite basketball player? Oh, I would have to be Kobe Bryant for sure. Kobe Bryant, Are you yeah. a Laker, Laker fan? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll say yeah. Yeah, you should just follow plays now. It's too hard. Like the players move. That's, yeah, that's yeah, true. There is like a lot of that. Yeah. I find that so weird, man. So many basketball I, fans. It is crazy. Like players. Durant, I didn't yeah. even know he was, he's at the Suns now. Yeah, yeah. He's at I, the I Suns. looked because he was at Brooklyn. Well, you know, I keep the yeah. day in the background. I'm yeah. like, what's he doing at the Suns? Yeah. Like, just last year, and Harden's at like 76ers now. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy, man. It's, but yeah, it's I so just, I find every that season. Bizarre, man. I guess with the amount of money they're throwing around too, man. Oh, it's like, ridiculous. And plus, I think I was reading. Say, like within football, maybe it's a bit harder. The players can get traded involuntarily, can't mm-hmm. they? Yeah. So, like, they don't really have a say in it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, you probably pick up the phone and, mate, you're being traded here. Yeah. And it's like, you can't do nothing about it. Yeah. So, it's guess. crazy. Some players actually found yeah. that they got traded via, like, Twitter and yeah, stuff. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they don't even get a call sometimes. Or, like, they'll see the tweet first, then they get it's the call. It's pretty crazy. Shit, man. Who's shit. your favorite sort of player playing around today? Um, I, so. My personal favorite right now would be um, Derek Rose. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, just because I just had to overcome. He won an MVP by yeah, the Bulls. The youngest, yeah. yeah, youngest player. Yeah. I do. I do. I don't mind the bit yeah. of basketball, man. I, I got into it really. I'll be honest with you. I'm not bandwagon in Golden State fan, yeah. but oh. I love watching those series, like you know mm. them when they versus the the LeBron. Cavs, and all that. Yeah, yeah. Just entertaining, man. Good no, battle. Yeah, the, the best going at it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of any sport, really. You like, you know, you want to watch that. Of course, yeah. That so, was great. That was that was a great time yeah, of basketball. It was good, man. So yeah, that's when I started getting into it a bit. You know. Well, it's interesting. I mean, like. I don't know. Do you say, what's the uh, terminology? Sink some hoops? Sink some hoops. So sink some shots. Sink some shots. Yeah. I can sink some shots. <laughs> My technique's probably dog shit, but let's... As long as I it goes it. in. As well, as I honestly it goes enjoy in. it. Like, nah, I remember back cool, in... Um, was it lockdown? Or yeah, we, we used to go. Yeah, we used to go. 
not play any of thing, yeah. but I just shoot. Yeah. Well, no, it's good for the more and just clear. It's oh, a bit yeah. like golf. Yeah, yeah. 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 Shoot, hit a few it's balls. Yeah. Just yeah. throw a few hoops up. I could probably never play a game because I'd be terrible. I'll just travel all the time, man. Yeah. I remember actually I played in like primary school once for like inter school sports. Yeah. Every time I touch the ball, the ref's pulling me up, man. Yeah. <laughs> it was like bullshit. Like, what am I supposed to do here? I'm bouncing it. Anyway. That's how I feel when I play soccer. Yeah. I have no idea. I just go kick people's shins. <laughs> you want to I think I'm trying to get the ball, you know, and then dive. What I, what I like about basketball, though, I think, which is so different from football, is that there's, I, I wouldn't say a clear pathway, but there's a clearer pathway to the top. Mm. Like the NBA, you, definitely. Yeah, like if you go to a combine, right? Mm. Like you do your testing and stuff. Like people are watching you, and like when you do your testing, man, numbers don't lie. Yeah, you're either strong yeah. enough, quick enough, can jump high enough, or you can't. Yeah, and if you can't, there's the door, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Like with football, it's just so yeah, it's, it's up in the air. If someone sees you, you're right, right place, right time. Then mm-hmm. yeah, you got a chance. Otherwise, yeah. there's none of that. But it's interesting too because it's also. In, a bit like football, it's very opinion based too. Like mm. I might think you're a good player. Yeah. Then that guy has a different style and he doesn't think you're good enough. Or you know, it's very yeah. you gotta be at the right time, the right person has to be watching mm. you. You know what I mean? It's one of them too. I feel like it's very opinion based mm. in terms of what you classify as what you, your team needs maybe. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like it's kinda of same with basketball. Like yeah. every every team plays a certain way, yeah. you know, a, a certain style of play. 100%. Some players will be good for it, some players Definitely. might not be good for that kind what, of style. Uh, what position do you play? I'm a guard. So oh, he's number ten, yeah. He's a no. scorer, yeah. Huh? You, you, a scorer. Play like Steph Curry style uh, or that, that uh, position? I wish I was, was he a like point that, guard. He's a point guard. Yeah, oh, yeah. Point so guard's I'm like a one 10. or two, yeah. yeah. See point guard, shooting guard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like oh, that, yeah. But it's it's like uh Steph, for example, like actually getting into that, let's speak about him, but He's a very small player, yeah. Yeah, small as well. It's like no, I think he's like six foot, six one. Tiny. <laughs> no, like compared to like, <laughs> compared to other players. What yeah, I'm trying to say is say. compared to like your stand, like Durant. Him standing yeah. next to Durant, he's tiny. Yeah. Oh yeah. He. And was but tiny. he's probably let's say the great. I'd say the greatest ever shooter, yeah, or yeah. scorer in the NBA history. And I bet at the start of his career, he would have had that many like doubters because mm. of his size. Because 100%. of his. So it's yeah. also that you know, like same as football, you know. And I think it's it's crazy how like the modern game mm-hmm. now like there's so many different assets you can have. And it's just like back in the day, it was like if you weren't tall, you would not be playing basketball. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it'd probably just be a pre like Pretty conception. Good. You know, mm-hmm. you're small. He's no good. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. But now it's like opening up. You got to be an athlete. You got to be able to handle the ball. Yeah, you can do well, that actually it's bring, like football actually man. brings me into my next question. You know what, I mean? what are the qualities of a good player? Like when yeah. you when you say a good player, like what makes a good player in basketball? Um, I. I think it comes down to opinionated, really, like yeah. that question. But usually it would be like, you know, if he's got good skill level, you know, good um, good IQ. Yeah. More often than not, he's athletic as well. Can kind of just do everything, you know, can score, can pass, can dribble, play good defense. So you're talking about yourself pretty much. Huh? Oh, a little bit, a little bit, you know. <laughs> Maybe not the athletic part, but everything else I, I think I got. <laughs> um, going back to the States, mm-hmm. did you ever have a moment of like real, like, I guess homesickness did you have like a real mental challenge apart from like off the court did you have something that really I guess tested you um I would say I did have one it was like uh it was to do with basketball actually I never really got like homesick like obviously you, you know you love your yeah, parents yeah, yeah. you miss them but like I was I was just having such a good time over there and just embracing like the new culture and like the new like kind of like life you kind of build for yourself over there like I made long life friends I still talk to but um, I remember me and my coach kind of got into it a little bit. Like I wasn't playing as much as I thought I'd be playing, and um, so I thought it, like you know I'd like email other teams to see if I could you yeah, know, yeah, move. Yeah. Like because a, a yeah. lot of people they'll play one season somewhere and then transfer to another college. You gotta so, look out for yourself. Exactly too, right. Yeah. So that's what I thought. You know, I'm like I'm all the way over here. You might as well try to make the most of it. Yeah. So, yeah. I thought, you know, like, um, I'd do that. My coach found out and I wasn't too happy, you know. It was well done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, coach, man. Yeah, yeah. Now one of his friends. <laughs> oh, uh, he was a coach. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. who would have thought, you know? <laughs> Probably not the smartest thing to do, but like yeah. you said, you got to look it's up yourself, exactly. at yeah. the end of the day. And, um, you know, I, I said sorry, whatever, but he, was, uh, he wasn't happy, you took know. It took it to heart. You know, went into his office, you know, started, like, yelling at me a little yeah. bit, you know, like, dude, I couldn't really say much about because I was like, oh, I was kind of yeah. wrong, you know. But um, yeah, he kind of threatened to like send me home from it. He was like, yeah, so you have to decide whether you want to stay here or leave. 
It's like, um, but yeah, just know the door's open for you, like very cutthroat. Jesus. And yeah, yeah so I had like, I had like a week to decide whether like to stay or go. And I stuck it out, which was uh, the best option though, because I actually play, I kind of earned his respect by like, uh, kind of like standing up for myself a little bit in the uh, office. Probably showing him that you're hungry. Yeah, You've got to exactly. be a character. Yeah. You can yeah. take some like setbacks. Exactly. Yeah. So like, I remember like, um, he was like yelling at me and then like, so said something about my family and I was just like I was like that's a draw point like you know you don't say nothing about people's family so I just stood up I was like yeah you say what you want about me but don't say nothing about my family and I think from there like <laughs> this is a movie man. Yeah, yeah like it kind of felt like it Coach Carter, I should just walked out like dropped the mic yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I sat back on the couch I was like oh, keep yeah, yelling sure, at me. <laughs> personality as well you're not yeah. just gonna get walked all over yeah, exactly. so for me that's big as well mm. personality if you've got that off the court, you've got it on the court. Too. Yeah. Like, you know, you stand up for your teammates. Oh, yeah, you stand up for yourself. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Like, you have, to have, you have to have your own back first and foremost. Definitely. And then you got to have your teammates back. Yeah. Nah. But yeah, from that on, he just, uh, I guess he respected me a bit more. He played me more, which is yeah. kind of the crazy part. So, yeah. But that was definitely like, yeah. we were talking about it. So what, what brought you back to um, big Aussie land? Well, I didn't want to play for that coach again. So, um, yeah, came back here. Um, yeah, that's probably why. Yeah, I was trying to do that. This what is where you, home is. Let's say, like the next few years, yeah, you've got some thought? plans. You've um, got, where do you see yourself? You know, taking for myself uh, basketball. So, um, I'm, I'm in communications, I guess, with like teams overseas at the moment, trying yeah. to see if we can get like a couple of tryouts. Yeah, where yeah so um, in the motherland, Greece. Really? Yeah, yeah. So cool fancy, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, crazy, crazy, yeah. crazy, crazy. We got our but, Greek mate that goes for Olympiakos, so he always yeah, shows us. Yeah, oh, that's videos. a good one. He's a smart one. He's a smart one. That's a good team to go for. <laughs> yeah. Nick, but, hey, his name's Nick as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna beat him. He's a great guy. I can always tell. I can always tell. Yeah. So is that like? Is it what end of season now? Um. So like they finished it. Yeah. So I'm just like Looking talking to next season. Yeah. A couple yeah. coaches. Yeah. And hopefully, um, yeah, can get the call up. Nice. Either go try out or. Yeah. yeah all so the best, that's, man. That's a good one. real ready and used to being sent yeah, the yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Just doing what I did. In Greek? Or? Pardon? In Greek? Or? Yeah, yeah. Well, right, Greek, Greek. Greek? Um, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> but at least so you really go there the call you know the yeah, calls yeah. and stuff you have family there um, yeah, yeah, yeah got a, so like a bunch of family that helps that always helps yeah. But yeah, well so we wish all the best oh, hopefully appreciate. it all works out appreciate it yeah hopefully fingers crossed and then like I guess up until then do you up the training what do you do um, so like I pretty much train every day both like gym and basketball plus, even like, now even now yeah oh, good on you man it's good. yeah so I'm trying to stay in the best like condition possible both skill and physical, just so when I go over there, you know, yeah, of stay ready so you don't have to get ready, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. common oh, saying. You want to go right there at down. least. Yeah. It's like the worst thing to do as well is go into pre-season underdone. Yeah, exactly. You want right. to at least go there there, and then mm. build on that. You don't want exactly. to just go in there cool. 100%. Especially if you're trying to get a contract. Exactly, <laughs> especially if you're flying you over there. Yeah. It's like, as soon as they see you, you're not, you know, you're not Greek, you know, <laughs> you know, I mean, they're going to be like, oh, well, I am great, but like I'm Australian. Yeah. yeah of so they're going to be like, oh, you know, I don't want him to take my spot. Of course, man. So it's going to be right in each other's neck. And it's a very cutthroat, very cutthroat um, it, industry, that one. It's it's weird because are you first generation Australian? Uh, yeah. So we're first generation Italian, right? And I speak Italian mm-hmm. fluently. But here, I'm Italian. Yeah. But in Italy, they say I'm Australian. Yeah. So what the fuck am I? <laughs> Do you ever have that? Yeah, that, I'm pretty sure they said <laughs> that to my, my brother. Just spent six months over there. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think they does he speak the Greek? Um, he speaks it now that he spent time over there. Because it's funny, we they didn't know we spoke Italian, and then mm. it's like they talk about you, but then yeah. when they know you speak the language, oh, it's mm. like well, that you, awkwardness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As I in think like, they sort of already they sort of know yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. this guy, but they'll talk that much mm. shit behind your back. Like, oh, remember the Japanese? There's all these like yeah. it's yeah. a lot of stories, but yeah. It's part of the character building, mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, when you earn their respect and then... I, uh, I respect you for, man, still going nah, hard at it, man. You're still chasing opportunities and stuff. It's nice and old. But I actually miss that. Do you know what I mean? Getting mm. ready for trials. And to be honest, I don't know any other way, to be honest. Like, yeah. I've always kind of been like that. Like, it it's a goal. Like, I haven't achieved it yet. you got to keep going. Like I miss... Um, I don't sound stupid, but I miss being scared. Yeah. Not... No, Look, I don't know if scared's the right word. Like the the new the anxiety going mm. into like a trial or yeah, something. Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't really miss it, to be honest. That, I miss the lifestyle of like, the lifestyle, like, of like you're literally just playing football. Yeah, yeah. I miss like the adversity. You like know, you walk into a change room and it, like it's daunting and you just have to man up and yeah. just deal with it. You know what I mean? Like, 
I, I, um, I read a quote from Mr. Sir Alex Ferguson, actually, the other mm-hmm. day. Never lose your fear. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it's so... It's true, bro. It's such a... I don't know, man. It hit home. Yeah. Like, and stuff like that. You, you're chasing that and there's always that fear of not making it or do you know what I mean but it yeah. keeps you going like the fear you're not good don't enough don't get comfortable yeah. basically never get yeah. comfortable when you get yeah. comfortable yeah. Yeah. it's like you hear all the top players in the world like they go oh you surely don't get nervous but they're like I do every game yeah. like because it's like that that anxiety is what like, fuels you because mm-hmm. you know that like no matter what game you're going into there's no guarantee exactly. you've got to yeah. still push you know See, I, I think that's the beauty of it I've always struggled to transition out of out of football into just everyday life and, and have that mentality mm-hmm and take it into you know this and my you know career and whatever and i've always struggled like it's been a big big thing for me but the fact that you're still going yeah. after it man is so good like just yeah. do it as long as you just can just try to live a gym you know you might as well yeah. man look you were in the young for once you know exactly well, right. so you might as well try exactly it. exactly my thought process yeah. you'd hate to live, have like be older and have the regret of like not still trying you know what I mean yeah, and so. how many stories do you hear like that mm-hmm. exactly you know, oh, I wish I should have done that you know, yeah so exactly like, and then they're just miserable old people exactly, you don't exactly. Want to be like they that, keep talking you know? about back in the day yeah, though. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. be that guy you know? <laughs> no, I'm going to give it everything if I don't make it it's like I can at least you know you've given everything yeah. and exactly. the beauty is man like look at us we're having a chat about this mm-hmm. you know you got your stories you got your memories different sports but same sort exactly. of yeah. man you have for me like the most one of the most amazing things was I've got friends all over the world, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Definitely. my girlfriend's like, "How do you?" And it's just through football, you know. Yeah, like, exactly. It's cool. Playing overseas too, man. and stuff. Exactly. You, I've got friends in England, Greece, Italy, Something. Russia, everywhere. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's crazy how sport can bring so many people together. Like Definitely. when I was um, when I was at the combine in Spain, I still talk to like three of those people. <clears throat> it's crazy. Man like good friends to this day so, and America still talk to those for friends like it's crazy how like a sport can bring people like together you know what I mean yeah. it's, actually, it's like a beautiful thing it is man I yeah. think it even actually helps you as a person because like for mm-hmm. example you've made friends with people from different corners of the world we've all done it and now when I know me when I speak to someone or meet someone I'm at ease mm-hmm. having a conversation with someone whereas before this experience I was nervous yeah. reserved didn't want to speak now it's like it builds as a character, of but course. it also builds social skills. Yeah. You get out of your comfort zone, you mm-hmm. become comfortable out of your comfort zone. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. instead of just staying in your little box. Yeah. So I think that's why I'm a big advocate of sport. No matter what level or whatever, it just teaches you things that you're going to use for the rest exactly. of your life. Oh, yeah. It's not just a sport. Like, I believe, you know like, I mean? no matter what sport you play, 100%. it's bigger than the game itself. Definitely. You know, you learn so... Like, I know from the sport and like from trying to make it, I've learned so many like Definitely. life lessons and like life skills that I use in every day. Exactly right. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, so true. It's pretty amazing. Man. It is, it of is. course. Like it's, sports a powerful thing. It, it is. is. Anyway. It's been a pleasure. Wrap it up. Yeah. Great chat. Thank you very much, Neil. No, thank you for having it. me. It was Appreciate good it. Up as well. It was good. Always good. Had a good laugh. Um, all the best as well for your upcoming trials. Can't Appreciate wait to hear, hear all about it. And hopefully they go well and you, you get your chance again. Hopefully, hopefully. And uh, we'll come watch it one day in Greece. We'll make holiday we'll out of it. some for you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll make some for you. The tickets are ready. Yeah. 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 Um, again, if you haven't, make sure you you do everything I said at the start. Yeah. <laughs> so follow Nick on his journey. You, yeah. You're quite active on social. Uh, yeah, a little bit, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll put his, uh, What's your handle? Uh, Nick underscore 434. We'll get James to put that down below. Yeah, chuck it up. And do chuck it. Chuck us for follow. Yeah. He just laughs. laughs. Do it. Make sure you do it. <laughs> Yeah, All right, Nick. Thank you very much, man. Uh, thank, thank you. And thank, thank you. you. We'll uh, see you next episode. See you later, guys.